Okay, about to head out the door and do some shooting, but I've been asked a lot of questions specifically about the GFX 100, so this is part two, close look. Let me turn the light on here. Um, one thing is a misnomer out there on several videos is everybody's actually talking about the uh, actual dials for adjusting aperture and shutter speed and, of course, exposure compensation on the GFX 100. Here we actually have the sub-monitor display on top. You actually have three screens that you can actually uh, scroll through. One, of course, is uh, your dial settings for changing. Of course, you can see it, my aperture here. If I actually click in the front command dial, it will let me change in, change, excuse me, uh, the ISO. You do not ever, and I never use these dials, just personal preference, ever have to use these digital dials on the GFX 100 if you don't want to. Uh, this The third screen is a histogram. Obviously, it's not showing anything right now because I have the lens cap on. But this is the screen that I always use. And I actually click on the front command dial again. And this lets me change the aperture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, right now, of course, I'm in aperture priority. And you can actually set the parameters for how this looks in uh, your menu system. And if I uh, press this button, this is... Uh, my uh, mode button, which I actually have set here. Right now I'm in manual. Of course, go back to aperture priority. So, But you never, ever have to use these dials. I had some people say, well, you know, I don't really like the digital dials. Well, the answer to that is that you never have to use them, and I don't use them either. Uh, I've got a lot of time on this camera. I've actually been shooting the hell out of it the past few days, and I've been enjoying it greatly. The files are incredible. Let's actually go into the menu system. This is the rear sub display which is uh, completely customizable as well we're going to go over to here we go go over to uh, screen setup and to page three uh, first let's take a look at the uh, of course we have a uh, sub monitor settings which is on top and rear sub monitor which is right here let's go over to a uh, sub monitor setting which is our top display you have options for setting how it looks and what it displays for either still mode or movie mode. This is the dials, of course, and this, of course, is histogram. But for information, we can go over here and customize every parameter of the top display, what we want it to display. And uh, of course, this is how I prefer mine. And let's go to uh, rear sub monitor settings. And we have a uh, uh, still mode. This is also customizable to information. We can change it here. Right now I've got it set for aperture, frames remaining, ISO, exposure compensation, flash settings, and a battery level. But uh, we also have the option of changing what it does display. We actually have a second information uh, display where the uh, there's more information in smaller columns that could be shown. We also have, uh, we could turn the, right now I didn't select that, but we could actually turn the uh, rear sub display to a exposure compensation scale. Or we can actually change it to a histogram. I, I would find this extremely un, not useful at all. I would not want that, but uh, I prefer the information display that uh, we have here get out of that um, right now I've formatted the cards you don't need actually fast cards at all if you're gonna be doing single shot photography just 95 megabit per second right now I actually have uh, 300 megabit per second 32 gig cards in here everything I shoot is uh, in uh, raw plus super fine JPEG and I shoot 16 bits uh, lossless compressed, but this is the capacity, I'm in backup mode right now, of how many shots that I have shooting uh, lossless compressed 16 bit raw and super fine JPEG. So for 32 gigs on the cards currently, of course you could double this for 64, obviously, so 184 shots. So that's all you're gonna get out of 32 gig on uh, this beast. And uh, let's take a look at monitor. I've actually uh, setting on image size. These are our options. Of course, I choose four by three. Mm -hmm. Five four. Excuse me. Um, image quality. These are the options. Super fine plus raw. Raw and fine. I want normal and raw, excuse me. Super fine plus raw. And we go to raw recording. 
I can shoot to uncompress, which I would not want to do, and compress are the options of 16-bit or 14-bit. Most of the menus on the GFX100 are the same as your XT2, XT3, XT30, to be honest with you. Actually, there's another question. Let me actually show you this. I get a lot of questions on the movie settings. We have four pages over here. So let's go through the four screens. Movie mode, Kodak, compression, simulation, dynamic range, white balance, highlight tone, page two, shadow, color, sharpness, noise reduction, inner frame, noise reduction, F-log recording, peripheral light correction, focus area, H3, movie autofocus mode, choose multi or area, AFC custom settings, face detect, uh, manual focus assist, focus check, 4K output, where it's going to go to, full HD movie output, HDMI output info display, 4K HDMI standby quality, HDMI recording control, Zebra settings, Zebra levels, audio settings, time code settings, tally lights obviously, same as on the X-T3, and movie silent control. Um, I don't think there's anything special in uh, settings. Um, button dial settings there is. But, uh, uh, pretty much it. Of course you actually have your swipe functions for the screen. This is eyes mode off, uh, continuous, shooting only. There we go. Actually I want it set for shooting only. I have this uh, set for uh, flash, level, and AFC custom. Um, like I said, really amazing on this camera is the fact that uh, autofocus is as fast on this beast as the last firmware for the X-T2. You have a lot of buttons that you can customize however you want. Let me show you what I have uh, mine set for. You have a lot of customizable buttons and uh, touch swipe functionality customization, which I have mine set for ISO mode, flash, custom, electronic level, boost, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the one dial that is on top is extremely simple, as you can see here as I uh, focus, stills, Multi and movie, and of course when you press in the drive dial, we actually have the option of choosing still, continuous low, and continuous high. Pretty simple. Nothing too complicated. So, but uh, yeah, all the uh, nonsense that I've been hearing from, I think basically idiots that are not familiar with the uh, Fujifilm's menus and system, what they were talking, kept talking about you know, the digital dials, as if it was a necessity to use these. And it's just total nonsense. Um, I kind of get sick of how much uh, incorrect nonsense people post online about new cameras. You shouldn't do that. Spend some a lot of time with a camera if you're going to post information about it and post accurate information. You know, don't mislead people. You know, you don't need to uh, use these dials at all. And I don't. Just uh, set everything right here, click it in again, change my ISO, and uh, uh, you can also set uh, exposure compensation. Uh, I have mine set for turning it on or off, So, but uh, the default is where you have to hold it in and then turn the rear command dial, but uh, mine is uh, set for uh, on or off. I actually always leave it on because I never accidentally touch the uh, rear command dial. But uh, I think Fujifilm should include some different options other than these three. So you got Histo, Standard Screen, and Digital Dials. I think Fujifilm should uh, include a firmware update for including a fourth screen. I got a few ideas for that, but I'm sure they do also. I think they should include that in the firmware sometime in the future on the GFX100. 
anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this uh, close-up look at the GFX 100 and uh, correct a lot of erroneous nonsense information that's out there about the camera. Okay, thank you. And uh, if you like the video, please click the link below. And let me know if you got any questions. I'm going to go out shooting with the camera. Okay? Awesome camera. Really awesome camera. Really awesome. Bye.